Holland with the high set, the pitch. Swing and a line drive left field. Back goes Alex, it's over his head, and to the wall. Fielder to third, they're going to wave him home. Escobar throws to the plate. He is out to end the game. one nothing Royals in game two here in Detroit. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The Royals teamed up for a dramatic finish in a 1-0 squeaker over the Tigers as Alex Gordon, Alcides Escobar, and Salvador Perez turned in a game-ending 7-6-2 putout. Eric Hosmer drove in the only run of the game in the first inning with an RBI triple, backing Urban Santana, who posted zeros over six and two-thirds for his ninth win. The Royals are now three and a half games behind Tampa Bay and Texas for a wild card berth. Marlon Bird! It is the word! Marlon Bird's 23rd homer of the year propelled the Pirates past the Cubs 2-1. The solo shot in the seventh backed Garrett Cole, who worked seven innings of one-run ball. The Pirates are once again tied for first in the NL Central as the Mariners sail past the Cardinals 4-1, snapping a five-game skid. M's rookie James Paxton worked six innings of shutout ball, allowing just two hits for his second win in as many starts. The Athletics blanked the Rangers 1-0 thanks to eight brilliant innings from Bartolo Colon as he earned win number 16, outdueling Rangers ace U Darvish. The A's have won seven of their last eight, and they're now five and a half games up on the Rangers in the AL West. John Lester clamped down on the Yankees, allowing just one run on three hits over eight strong innings as the Red Sox topped the Yankees 5-1. The Bull Sox improved to a season-high 32 games over 500. Six race pitchers combined to shut out the Twins on just four hits in a rain-soaked 7-0 win. The Rays are now tied with Texas atop the AL wildcard standings as Cleveland powered past the White Sox 8-1. A five-run fourth inning capped by homers from Asdrubal Cabrera and Lonnie Chisenhall meant plenty of support for Ubaldo Jimenez, who struck out eight over eight in the third innings to pick up his 12th win. Colby Rasmus and the Blue Jays flew past the Orioles 4-3. Rasmus jacked a go-ahead two-run shot off Chris Tillman in the seventh, putting the Blue Jays on top for good. And that is a big blow for this ball club. Woo! Joey Bottles' two-run homer in the sixth, that just stayed fair, gave the Reds some breathing room in Cincy's 7-3 triumph over the Brewers. The home run capped a two-for-three day with three RBIs for the 2010 MVP. The Giants routed the Dodgers 19-3, setting the record for the most runs scored by any team in Dodger Stadium history. Brandon Belt recorded five hits and six RBIs, both career highs, while Hunter Pence drove in seven runs, another career high, four of those courtesy of a grand slam to power the offensive outburst. Get the wall! That one's long gone! Freddie Freeman's solo shot in the sixth, one of his three hits on the day, scored the eventual game-winning run as the Braves edged the Padres 2-1. Chris Bethlin scattered four hits over seven and a third shutout innings to win his fourth consecutive start. The Phillies dropped the Nationals 5-4, snapping Washington's seven-game winning streak. Carlos Ruiz's three-run double powered the Phil's offense, while Cole Hamels won his fourth consecutive decision. The Darts fan extended his hitting streak to 25 games with a single in the first. Gerardo Parra and Aaron Hill each tally three RBIs, and Wade Miley worked six in the third innings of two-run ball for his 10th win as the D-back slithered past the Rockies 9-2. After the game, longtime Rockies first baseman Todd Helton announced that he will retire at the end of the season. Jared Weaver joined Nolan Ryan as the only Angels pitchers to ever reach double-digit wins for eight straight seasons as the Angels down the Astros 6-2. Weaver threw six innings of two-run ball, striking out five for his 10th W. Donovan Solano starred in the Marlins' 3-0 triumph over the Mets in game one of a doubleheader. Solano homered and turned in a pair of excellent defensive plays to back Henderson Alvarez's seven shutout frames. But in game two, Daniel Murphy and Lucas Duda bashed back-to-back -back solo shots in the third to lead the Amazons to a 3-1 win. Daisuke Matsuzaka earned his first win with the Mets, allowing just two hits over seven strong. For all the latest from around the league on Saturday, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.